Hi and welcome to my gardening journey, I'm John and this is a new series within this channel which is just a quick video diary which I intend to put up each week just to keep a record of how things are going, inform you of the progress being made currently but also for me really just to make sure I, I can see how things are progressing and maybe use some of this footage later on in the year to create new videos. So it's the middle of March, it's the 14th today and things are going reasonably well. The weather is pretty good to be honest, it's been raining a bit but not too heavily. Here in the greenhouse things are doing fairly well and I'm pretty pleased with how things have progressed so far and I'll go over those in a few seconds. Uh, it's a bit bright today so the uh, exposure will change on a regular basis so I do apologise for that and I'm also not wearing my lav mic and it's a bit echoey in here today. But anyway, we'll jump into it. So you probably hear some wind in the background as I'm doing this because it is pretty windy today. The uh, wind chill has taken us down from probably around about a good 10 degrees to almost a uh, five degrees at the moment. So I just thought I'd start off with a really good success story for my greenhouse at the moment. So I'm really pleased with how these lettuces have come on. These are the ones that I sowed last year. Uh, so these are ones that have been uh, winter sown and they seem to be coming on quite good at the moment so those will be producing enough lettuce leaves shortly for me to be able to make myself a nice salad from so I'm really pleased with how they've progressed. Moving on you can see the cabbage is doing really well in its pot there and I'm really pleased again how that's progressed this was a sowing that was done back in October time and it was the only one that actually germinated and survived so I'm looking after it quite a lot to try and make sure it gets through to maturity and I get a really nice cabbage later on. So the next seedling I'm looking at is spinach and they've done pretty well to be honest and these are a cut and grow again variety so you don't need too many of them to have a really good supply of spinach throughout the year. Uh, not really sure what happened to that seed station down the end there that didn't seem to grow anything at all but the rest of them have done pretty well. I've sown multiple seeds into each of these stations here and you can see some of these are doing okay and others are not so strong so I'm going to probably pull those ones out so it's just not really worth trying to save them but as you can see the other ones are done fairly well. The next seedling we're going to look at is the sprouts. Now these ones have sort of done okay, um, sort of a mixed germination and unfortunately the actual seed compost was just so dense that it, it broke the necks of the, seed, the seedling as it came up. So unfortunately there's been at least three of those that have died if not four as a result. I'm hoping this one so I just sort the I'm hoping this one will do okay and this one which I've just tried to salvage but I've been through each of these and I can't find any more little seedlings coming up but I think I've got a good enough crop at the moment for just our own sort of personal Christmas sprouts. I'll be getting a cover coming shortly so uh, a netting so I'll be putting these with other brassicas under netting once they go outside. Just moving on to things that have not done as well as I'd liked if not completely failed so these are my cucumbers which are almost a month in the soil and absolutely nothing has come up. I'm just wondering whether I've put them in too early I don't know not really sure why as they should have been okay to go in uh, on a heated bed in February. I, it has looked like there has been some animals in here that may have dug in and taken the seeds out because I can't find any seeds I have dug in. They've either rotted away, which seems really strange, or an animal has been in and managed to nick them. So I'll be doing a second sowing of those once I get some more seeds and I'm going to protect them just in case it is a problem with some mice or something else coming in. So under here is where I've sown some tomatoes and as you can see nothing's come up as yet. It's been about a week I think since I've put those in, maybe two weeks, so I'm a bit disappointed I've not seen any seedlings whatsoever. I would have liked to have seen some and this is another tray of um, tomatoes as well. We would 
have expected them to have come up and germinate within sort of uh, 8 to 11 days but so far nothing which is a little bit worrying over here we have some leek seed that again was sown at the same time as the tomato so that was the what was that the 28th of February so a couple of weeks ago now and again nothing has started germinating yet so I'm not sure whether it's something I've done with the compost whether it's been too moist not moist enough or whether the temperature just hasn't really got to the consistent level yet for them to want to germinate so I'm gonna keep going on with these because there is definitely some seed in there and we'll see what comes up but again a bit disappointing because I would have thought they would have germinated by now at least some of them it's very rare to get a hundred percent failure on seeds so here we have some sweet pea and these ones were sown after soaking for around 24 hours and they seem to be doing pretty well I think I've got around about a 80 70 80 percent germination rate on these so far and um, possibly more hopefully some more will start to push their ways through um, but as you can see they're doing fairly well at the moment quite pleased with those and just moving on to the next to them is the lettuce so this is the second batch of lettuce uh, that we've sown over winter and again I'm pretty pleased with how they've all come along I'm getting the second leaves on many of them and we've got some that are still germinating through so I'll be looking to plant these on shortly uh, thin them out a bit um, and once I've sorted out the garden they'll go outside what's given me a little bit of hope that the other seeds might still germinate is this one little pea coming up these were sown probably about a month ago as well and they're only starting to come through so it may be due to the temperature issues we've been having so it was really really warm for a while and now it's uh, gone back to sort of normal expected temperatures so ranging anywhere from 0 to 10 degrees and I'm hoping these are going to start coming through which will be good so I'm not going to open these up but these are the flowers that I'm sowing this year and they are violas and cosmos and so far nothing has germinated so again slightly concerned as it's been a week or so since they were put in and again it might just be down to the the temperatures so in terms of other updates for the garden as you can see outside we've just got this pile of wood that needs to be burnt I'm hoping to get that done tonight uh, as long as the wind uh, dies down a bit got the old Christmas tree down there which also needs to be burnt and we've had a tree surgeon in which has cut back the tree in the centre there and also the one up in this corner that we're showing or sh putting a lot of shade sorry onto the the uh, the beds so hopefully that means that the the veg patch will get a lot more sun this year we've also lost some trees around the edge of the house they've gone down so they were self-seeded trees and they were just getting really in the way and putting lots of shade onto the garden so it's nice to see them uh, gone now I'm just going to quickly take you outside and show you the uh, garlic and onions so we've got the garlic's doing pretty well at the moment really pleased with that really good germination rate and uh, they're looking good at the moment so hopefully have another good stock of garlic for winter maybe later in, on in the year the red onions are doing fairly well as well and I'm hoping to get a batch of white onions to put in for this season so hopefully I'll see them coming across fairly soon I'll be digging up that old spinach there so I've got a number of spinach plants to cut and grow again so they've done really reasonably well over winter but um, I really want to get the fresh plants out uh, for this season I'm also working on some hard landscaping as well the area outside the back of our bifolds we're going to be putting down some more weed suppressant and then covering with shingle that's the area that we're going to have as our sort of social space and um, hopefully we'll do a good bit of outdoor living 
there so that looks like it's uh, going to be done hopefully in the next week or so the other work that i'm intending to do is to sort of create a woodland garden towards the back end if you probably can't see it from here um, but from the back end of the garden and it's an area that gets a lot of shade because of the trees um, but I really want to make that as really nice sort of secluded and sort of comforting woodland space. I'm going to change the dimensions of the veg patch as well so we're going to just swap that around a bit hopefully get a little bit more space that we can work on but I really want to try and make the veg growing a little bit more attractive and make a bit of a focal area of the garden rather than just looking like a mess like it does at the moment so I want it to be functional but also uh, look quite beautiful as well. We're going to have a, a good garden area of grass uh, so a lawn again really want to get on top of the lawn care get that moss out and keep an area for our uh, children to uh, play in as well and hopefully we'll have a few additions to the garden coming soon some additional animals which I We'll probably keep a secret until we get them, uh, but hopefully, again, we'll bring something else into the garden that will make it that a little bit more interesting and exciting for all of us.